Alright. Since I did one, might as well do the other. This is, uh... Naive? Naive? Nay? Na? Na squared? It's a very... Artistic title, but it's a little hard to figure out how to read it. Um, I... Kind of weird to just, like, mention a different quote-unquote let's play for this, but whatever. Um, of the two Escape Velocity spiritual successors that I know of, this is the second one. And I'm going to play it. I have comparatively way less ex experience with this one, so I'm actually not sure how a main storyline is going to work, but we're going to find out together. New game. And of course, I'm going to be cheating my ass because of uh, reasons. Alright, we need a name. Let's see. Uh... Delilah? There we go. For some reason, that just popped into my head. After a fair amount of thinking. Let's see. Uh... Oh god, this crawl is slow. <sighs> As it always has. Civilization really doesn't spread unless there's a good reason for it, huh? standard cycles. I... So the biggest issue with using these time units, like... Using these, uh... Galactically standardized time units is that I have no frame of reference for how long that is. Right, like... Incident would imply that 10 standard cycles is a fairly long amount of time. Alright, alright, alright. Welcome! We have a flying license. Flying license, okay. We get a ship. Pressure on the flight controls, no, we're good. Alright, uh, that is the tutorial. It is, like, if you agree to it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't run you through it. It just basically, quite literally, is a, uh, series of text boxes. I'm a little tired right now. My eyes don't work too well when I'm tired, and I can't read those text boxes in the life of me. So anyways, uh, I have fiddled with the controls a little bit for this game, and for me right now, my it's basically a Wasset controls. Uh, so, yeah, Wasset is move. Uh, unlike, because I said there was two spiritual, con spiritual successors, I will be comparing this game incessantly to Endless Sky. So unlike Endless Sky, this, from a mechanic standpoint, is a little bit more true to the Escape Velocity franchise, in a way, right? Like, Endless Guy does, does a lot of modern updating of the mechanics to make it easier for the player. This one, not so much. So, like, I have to hit L 
to get permission granted, L for landing, and then actually it is a legit process. Anyways. So, uh... This is big. Right, so this is the... kind of visual basic looking screen for a planet. Uh, the tabs down here changes depending on whether or if a planet has one of these commodity or one of these services or not. The spaceport bar is uh, the news as well as the quests. Also, it's a planet, man. Planets have a lot of personality. Uh, okay, spaceport bar for non-randomly generated quests, I suppose. Also, the music just died for some reason. Uh, missions are for randomly generated quests. We'll be going over that in a little bit. Outfits are outfits, I'll go over them later. Ships are ships, duh. Equipment is, uh... How to say this? Right, so... The equipment list, uh, this game has functionally, uh, two hard locks. Two hard limits on ship customization and one soft limit. Uh, the hard limits are the CPU space, you cannot go under zero. The number of slots that you have, can't have more than they give you. And the soft slot is uh, mass, you go over mass which just slows you down. Also uh, this, these like this core, this engine and this plating, these slots are actually only for these kind of things, but doesn't really tell you, so you kind of have to guess. Commodities, you can trade commodities, but as you can see, the window is primitive. So there is not a whole lot of, you know, being able to see what's going on here. Anyways, uh, where's my money? Ah, there it is. All right, so we're in Hakoi. Time is UST 6:03. We have 30k in credits. Um, money in this in this game is very hard to get to, which is doubly. I understand the design of, you know, wanting to make the game longer, but personally, stretching out the early game is not a good way to do it, because in the early game nothing is happening. So anyways, uh, we're going to take some courier missions. Yes, we will take that one. And we will take... Yeah, okay. I was about to say, like, I don't think I have the space for it. And we'll take... Uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just take that one. So, missions in this game are almost all time-sensitive. Uh, this is tab. Tab opens the map. And, and you have to basically get to... Get to the location where the game uh, runs out. It... Like... How, to, how, 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 do I, how do I say this in a way that doesn't sound like I'm being an asshole? Um... Okay, and that pays for a little bit of money. So early game, that's all you're doing. <laughs> that is literally, and that's boring. So we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be doing that for a whole lot. Actually, we're not gonna be. Doing that at all. Um. So yeah, this is gonna be a short bit, uh, just the starting section because we need to cheat to have money to show off more of this game. But like early game, just you're doing that, but across different stations, across different stations, a lot. It's infuriating, to say the least. But um, yes, what I was gonna say is that um, actually, take off and fly a little bit because money is not gonna be a concern for for much longer. Well, this is a tab, right? As you can see, the map is big. Right? 
unlike escape velocity unlike uh uh endless sky i should probably just compare it to endless sky because it's more recent unlike in um this game runs more on hyper lanes right in the sense that you have this unknown here right that is a jump to a different system you know what the destination is once you reach it or buy a map for it um Honestly, this is kind of awful <laughs> for a game like EV, especially for this particular design pattern, I feel. Because as you can see, we're flying in the middle of nowhere, right? Nothing is happening. There's so much dead space. Like, if we were to right clip and go to a location that, as you can see, we're getting the game is speeding up for our convenience which is nice but if a game ever feels the need to speed itself up 50 times because nothing is happening that is fundamentally a bit of a problem in that design because you could really be doing something else with that time this, does, this also leads to the next point, which is that, comparatively speaking, uh, Nav? Nah? Nav? Nav? I just call it Nav, I guess. Now, nah, Nav sounds better. Like, uh, the smallest system in Endless Sky, by comparison, is functionally the entire system, right? Uh, when you jump in, when you jump into a system, that entire system is functionally your play area. It's small, it's compact, you either, you know, d depending on how the game goes, you either die very quickly or you win, or you win very quickly. Uh, comparatively speaking, the smallest uh, section, uh, the smallest playing piece of Nave is the system, right? Because on one hand, the system is really large and there's a lot of space. On the other hand, if we were to go into a system with more traffic, you'll be able to see a lot more, like, you know, interlocation traffic. And that, in many ways, plays into... Plays it out, this game could be fun, I guess. Comparatively speaking, like, Endless Sky is kind of like a fleet building simulator. You are pretty much encouraged to have as many ships as possible and just, like, you know, Zerg rush your enemies. Uh, this is... This is more like EV Override, the uh, the original Escape Velocity, and EV2 Override, I think. In that you have just yourself, right? Which limits your options a little, to be honest. But hey, that's how it goes. Um, I think I've halfway trashed on this game long enough. So uh, we're going to pause here, and then when we come back, we will have oodles and oodles of money to play with in terms of upgrades. Yeah, so for now, uh, yeah, pausing. <laughs> 